Can you explain what impact a 50 gigaton release of methane would have on the atmosphere and what the effects would be for life on Earth and in particular humanity? Well, we modelled um, in a paper to Nature, we modelled the, the effect of a 50 gigaton release and you convert the methane into the carbon dioxide equivalent effect and look at what that does to global temperatures. And it turned out that the uh, global temperatures are increased by about a maximum of about 0.6 6 of a degree and that's achieved within uh, 20 years of the original emission. We assume the emission takes place over 10 years, that, that 20 years after the emission starts the uh, temperature has risen 0.6 of a degree and that's a pretty substantial addition to, to global warming. Uh, and then we calculated using a uh, an economic model, that's the same model that the Stern Review used, uh, what, what that would cost for the world economy and it turned out to be 60 trillion dollars over a century. Now that, that's a huge figure but if you compare it with the figure that the Stern Review had come up with for the, the total cost to the world of, of uh, carbon emissions, which that comes out to be more like uh, 700 trillion dollars. So, uh, so the, the 60 trillion additional uh, is, is, is adding about 10% to, to the cost of global warming, but that's still substantial. Is there research to show we're on course for such a large release of methane? And if the answer is yes, how solid do you think that research is? Well, the, the, the solid research that shows that releases are happening and the, the work that this uh, Russian-US group from University of Alaska and the Pacific Oceanographic Lab has been doing every uh, summer in the East Siberian Sea is showing that each year you're seeing more and more uh, methane emissions from, from the seabed which are reaching the surface because the, the water is very shallow, about 70 metres deep. And so we, we've seen uh, lots of um, photos and film and, and data from them showing the, the, these emissions and we're going to be joining in with them next year in, in that work. Um, so there's, there's solid evidence of uh, seabed emissions of methane from uh, the shallow shelves. There's also solid evidence of methane emissions from deeper water um, off Spitsbergen but there the, uh, the methane has time to dissolve in the water on its way up so it's not uh, directly released into the atmosphere whereas the methane on these shallow shelves is. So that, that's pretty solid. The, the question of quantity is, is the, the more uh, difficult question because uh, looking at the present rates of emission and looking at the methane hydrate content of sediments is what uh, enables you to estimate how much methane is going to be released from a further melting of sediments or due to the warmer water. And that estimate, we, at the moment, we have to rely on Shakova and Semiletov, uh, who've been doing that work, uh, and they have then expert knowledge of the seabed conditions, and they're the ones who are estimating the 50 gigatons. Um, so that, that could be revised up or down, uh, if further work is done in that area. And do you think civilization could survive a 50 gigaton release of methane? No, I don't think it can. Um, I think that the, if you look at the, the, the existing predictions of, of global warming rates, um, what's, what's kind of eerie is the fact that uh, the business as usual projections, even even the cautious ones produced by IPCC, are still giving us about four degrees of warming by the end of the century, and uh, with two degrees has been taken arbitrarily as the level beyond which nasty things happen. I, I don't know why it's two degrees, but but that will be reached by the middle of the century and four degrees by the end of the century. Now, f four degrees, people who've calculated what that would do to food production, uh, to 
uh, die off of forests to acceleration of warming due to various extra feedbacks that kick in that the general conclusion is pretty dire that that if if you if you get to four degrees of warming then collapse of civilization is is what's going to happen because the world won't be able to sustain anywhere near its present population so the result will be chaos and, and warfare um, so that's that's just that the eerie thing is that that's predicted by the IPCC uh, report but the, the projection of warming by the end of the century is four degrees but nowhere do they state at all that four degrees is a catastrophe for uh, economically and so socially for the, for the planet um, and now with this Arctic methane you're simply adding another uh, another element to the warming even if it's only an extra 0.6 that brings forward the date at which catastrophic warming is achieved by maybe another maybe 20 years so we get we're, we're going to get into a state where the warming rate is giving us something that will cause society to break down and we're going to get to that state quicker because of offshore emissions of methane than, than would be the case otherwise.